What is up guys, Systematic Psycho here, and yeah, that's Hardline, they just freaking released it at E3 yesterday, so, you know, that was cool, everybody rushed and flooded and killed the servers, uh, on the EA website, so, I got you some footage here, and, uh, if you maybe stay tuned to the end, there's gonna be some great, uh, roadkill spree kind of thing going on, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so, Battlefield Hardline, I mean, from what I've played, I'm actually really happy, I, I don't, feel too bad about the net code on this one even though yeah of course Battlefield 4 had its nice net code update, uh, code update and it uh I think it really saved it as far as the uh the latency and stuff was concerned but uh yeah I mean it's, the problems don't seem to be very present in the beta of Hardline I noticed a few graphical funny problems I have a friend who has two 280x's which is stronger than my system which has a 780 and uh, he wasn't able to keep it on ultra he was he was running it on high because of certain areas graphical we, you know, started causing lag and stuff like that, and I actually, I was playing on high pretty comfortably until certain areas caused lag as well, so I just, I bumped it down to medium just to make my frame rate consistent, but hopefully that'll be worked out, uh, in the, in the, you know, final game, so, uh, yeah, so as far as gameplay and stuff like that, there's no tanks, and that's something I've been asking for for a while, you know, just two days ago, I was, I popped on Battlefield just to test out the, the net code and see how the game played, and I was playing on Zavod 311, I think is the, the map, and... You know, of course, I think it, it's probably a little bit better on console, but uh, on PC, there is freaking, like, t like, way too many vehicles to be populating that map. I mean, you got, what, a tank, an AA vehicle, uh, an LAV, uh, a transport vehicle, like, four ATVs or something like that. I think you have to capture the first two bases to get those, those ATVs. You have a transport helicopter and a scout helicopter, and this map is so freaking small, and it's just one big lane is all that map pretty much is. It's almost sort of like a like a smaller version of Firestorm in a way. Uh, and it's just, yeah, it's so vehicle flooded. And with Battlefield Hardline, you have, most of the vehicles can be killed with normal bullets from your guns, like uh, no, you know, AT or anything, which, you know, AT always helps. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the regular, your, your assault rifle, your shotgun, your LMG, your whatever the hell you're using can kill vehicles, then it's nice. I mean, there's armored vehicles that can't take uh, you know, bullets from a uh, your gun, but you know, that those are, there's, there's only like, what, two or three of those, no, like two of those, I think, in the map. And then helicopters can actually be shot down by guns, so that's nice. There is Stinger, but when I was, uh, there is the, the Stinger for, I think, yeah, just Engineer as it normally was. Uh, and I didn't see really anybody unlock that or use that when I was playing and flying the helicopter at least, so I never had that as a threat. The only problem was maybe the minigun truck that was able to shoot me down, which is, you know, not even that bad. You can just fly away from it. Uh, and bullets and RPGs. And RPGs actually take two to shoot down the, the, the bigger helicopter. I haven't really had any chance to uh, test out the scout helicopters yet. But yeah, it takes two RPGs to shoot them down because uh, I... I I, I freaking pelted this one with RPGs and it just wasn't going down because he'd have enough time to regenerate his health and get up to past 50% and take another hit. Uh, and vehicles' health seem to recharge tons slower. I mean, tons uh, slower. You have to, or at least the wait for the recharge to start happening is much longer. Which is fine because, you know, there's lots of vehicles, there's lots of stuff. And there's vehicles scattered around the whole map that you can get in. I don't think every vehicle you can get in, but most of them you can which I would like to see every vehicle accessible. Uh, there is like a fuel truck in the middle of the, the map. Uh, that's like, you know, something you wouldn't think you'd be able to get into, but you are, and that's pretty fun, you know, ramming it into somebody and blowing it up. Like the, the blast radius in that thing is huge and it's hilarious watching everybody die. Even friendlies die when you blow it up on a core match. So uh, yeah, that's pretty funny. Uh, and then you have the semi trucks, which you can't drive and are sitting there and you just want to go on like some crazy ass road killing spree, plowing vehicles with it, but you can't. So, you know, whatever. And of course, seeing that it's beta, like uh, Battlefield 4's beta went, uh, you don't have all the weapons. So you have, I think, maybe three or four weapons per class. And you need to unlock, I think, service stars with uh, with the weapons or the class. I'm not 100% sure. I still haven't made it that far yet. But uh, you have to unlock service stars with the weapon or class to actually start being able to purchase attachments for it. And, uh, you know, the money system's good. I think, I think uh, the money comes a little too fast. I mean, I played, what? three or four rounds and I was pretty much able to buy 50 to 75 percent of all the weapons so I think I think money should come a lot slower definitely not at payday speed if you've ever played payday and you know, it's kind of semi comparison to this game 
just because the heist stuff, cops and robbers. But yeah, if you've ever played Payday, you know it's it's pretty much a grind to get whatever weapon you want, and then you uh, you can sell the weapons you have, and you get a little money in return. So yeah, I think it should just be a little bit slower, not Payday, but just a little bit better. So uh, yeah, that's the whole the whole weapon progression system's pretty solid as long as they uh, they tweak that. Uh, as far as uh, I kind of skipped over this, but as far as the armored vehicles are concerned. There is a, uh, I think, one vehicle in the Blood Money mode, which consists of a grenade launcher and a 50 cal mounted on top, which, uh, you know, can be quite devastating from the looks of it. I haven't had too much experience uh, being on the other end of it, but yeah, that uh, that could be a bit much, maybe, but you still have, you know, your, your regular your RPG and your, well, of course, your Stinger's not going to do much. You have C4 and all that stuff typical battlefield stuff that you would want to take it out. I haven't seen any javelins or anything, and I doubt there will be since this is a cops and robbers game. I haven't seen a, uh, a sophisticated thief or police force ever get their hands on a javelin, so I'd rather not see that anyway. Uh, there's a few new gadgets. There's the grappling hook and there's the zip line. There's not a lot of use case scenarios for the zip line. There's a good bit of verticality in this game, but uh, I haven't really uh, personally been able to use it. The grappling hook I've seen used once or twice getting up a bridge or maybe scaling a small building. Uh, but yeah, it's not very, it's not a very powerful tool because uh, I mean, you can only launch it so far. But it's still nice nonetheless and we have to see more maps and see how they can be used uh, from here on out. So yeah, that, that'll, that'll be pretty nice. I think also things we haven't seen before is you have like these trip mine things that you can pretty much place on the walls, the ceilings, on the floor. And they shoot out a very visible red laser beam, so I, I think they need to dim that down just a tiny bit for them to be effective at all. You're pretty much an idiot if you don't see it and get killed by it. I think I did get killed by it once, but it's because I'm shooting it and it has a pretty decent blast radius on it. Uh, but yeah, you can attach it to buildings, walls. I don't know if you can attach it to vehicles, but it's pretty sweet if you can attach it to like a cop car and start driving past people and, uh, and <laughs> killing them. That'd be freaking awesome. Uh... And as far as other attachments, they have a self revive thing. I don't know how I feel about it. It's cool. I mean, you know, it's, it's freaking awesome, but I think that would be something I'd like to see them get rid of. Uh, you die, and it's a. You pretty much have one chance to revive yourself per life. And so, yeah, I mean, that's. That's kind of. That's kind of funny. I think it should be pretty much about the other medics to revive you and not about you reviving yourself. So yeah, that, that's just that's just something that's yeah. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't really necessarily approve of that. And uh, the riot shield is a default weapon in the game, and uh, it's it's a bit OP. Uh, there's, there's ways to get around it, but the one hit thing is not settling well with me. I think a two to three hit would be nice, preferably a three hit, uh, just just to maintain that balance. Because I mean, it's, it's it's a bulletproof shield essentially. So I mean. If it takes, if it's that easy just to run up to somebody that can't necessarily kill you, uh, and start bashing them to hell with one hit and killing them, that can, that can feel a little off-putting. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all in all, Battlefield Hardline, pretty fun. It needs its tweaks and improvements, but, uh, it's, so far I'm enjoying it a hell of a lot more than Battlefield 4. Uh, so you can actually pick it up now if you go, I uh, will probably link the website down below. Uh, so you can pick it up, play the beta. I don't know how long the beta is out. I can imagine for two, maybe three weeks. Hopefully it's not a $60 release title as well. I'd like to see it maybe in the $40 to $30 range. Uh, and that's U.S. currency, of course. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been a free-balling commentary. No notes, no nothing. So hopefully I, I pushed out some decent audio files here. So uh, thank you for sticking to the end, and I have some nice rewarding footage for you. <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs>
Yes, I got you, bitch. Kind of pissed. Sad thing, I can't play until tomorrow now. That is 